Welcome to Conspark. My name is Jan Wenda. I'll be your host. And today with me, I have Jude Trem, the CIO and uh, VP of Fifth Third Bank. Hey, Jan, good to be here. Welcome. So, Jude, I have a few questions for you today. Sure. Um, I know that uh, you got this um, this role, and uh, your boss, um, who was the CIO, became the CEO. That's right. Which is pretty unique situation. Um, I was wondering, how does it help you to uh, use the technology to transform the way the fifth and third bank um, is doing the business? Yeah, it's a great question, Jan. You know, um, as you said, I've been lucky. My my boss, the guy who runs the bank, uh, came into the bank 12 years ago, 13 years ago, into the role of CIO. And so one of the great things about that is he understands technology and how it really plays into the strategy of the bank. So when you think about our customer experience, when you think about our banking platforms and how we evolve them to keep up with current technology like cloud, uh, enterprise data and analytics, which drive a lot of decision making for our customers. He understands the importance of investing in those things and keeping them uh, kind of current and keeping us current with our competitors. And so it's not um, a situation where we're always trying to justify the IT side. So a lot of times companies, they love the business projects of IT that are delivering the revenue and the value. Um, but you tend to maybe have to fight harder for the infrastructure and for the things that run the bank every day, and he gets that. And so for me, one of, one of the great things about it is um, having him really be at the table uh, with the board of directors, with the regulators, and helping explain to our industry from basically my chair how important it is is just a tremendous asset for me and for the bank. Excellent. Yeah, so thanks. looks like you're lucky because you're part of the board discussions. Uh, yeah. So changing and shaping how the bank works. That's right. Um, how do you guys uh, leverage data analytics uh, within Fifth Third yeah. to be competitive and stay sure. competitive? Yeah, you know, um, it's funny, like, you know, as, as you know, obviously because of given your background, right, data and analytics are, uh, they are the, the most important asset that I think most companies have these days. Um, how you get the data, how you acquire it, how you manage it, how you use it, to allow either your your employees or your customers to make decisions is something that we spend a tremendous amount of time thinking about. Uh, we have two entire organizations, one dedicated to enterprise data and how we, how we harness the information, how we store it, how we move it, and then another entire group, uh, data sciences, just thinking about how we use not only our data, but other industry relevant data, geographic data, weather data, to really understand how we are bringing these things together to help our customers make decisions about their financial planning, right? How they think about when they buy things, what is the frequency which which they buy things, what is the places in which they go and buy things, um, how do they do financial planning for retirement, how do they do financial planning for vacations and saving for goals like Christmas club accounts. And even those little things are really important to people and you have to think about all of that when you're thinking about that information. And then finally, last thing I tell you about is as a bank, we really think about our customers' protection from identity. How do we help our customers protect themselves online in a world where you know, their money matters to them and how we secure that in an increasingly digital world is something we spend a ton of time investing in because to me, it's that trust that, it, that it allows us to work with our customers on more, more higher value ways to use our data, but it starts at that basic level. Okay, that's, uh, I mean, it looks like you were on the, on the cutting edge of that. Yeah. Um, so. So when you have the data, you have to invest in that data. I mean, yep. analytics is one part of it, but there's often this fundamental element, which is having the data available yes. to analyze it, you got it, which oftentimes is not easy. It's How not do you guys easy. deal with that? With the, with yeah, the that's, that's a great question. You know, it's something that we're really uh, dealing with a lot. And so uh, just to give you some context, we have uh, over 800 IT systems in the bank. So when you think about running a bank, the size of Fifth Third, it's, it's not easy. Banks don't have ERP systems. So there's not an ERP that can, can harness all this information. And so when we're moving data back and forth within the applications to really get that data extracted for storage and for use for data science or analytics is a really different philosophy than some companies. And so for us, um, we have a really uh, a robust data lake that's made up really of uh, technologies for unstructured data like Excel and PowerPoint and that and then structured data from our IT systems coming together. And then we have to put a very uh, advanced layer of information service on top of that to really give us the chance to, to mine that data and get insights out of it to give to our customers easily and quickly. 
All right, that's uh, looks like there's a uh, lots of work with that, and for sure, clearly you guys on top of it. Yeah. Um, it was great to talk to you. Um, really exciting uh, journey in front of you. So good luck uh, the fifth third, and uh, thank you for joining me today. Yeah, thanks, Jan, and thanks everybody at Comspark. We <laughs> really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, have a good day. If you want to learn more, visit comspark.tech, and for Lingaro, visit lingarogroup.com. Thank you.